Okay. You see how this is looking? Oh, good. You can see the banjo in there. Anyway, this is the new bamboo, well, the bujo. So, what I did was I was going over to Walmart and I thought to myself, hey, there's this nifty bamboo Better Home salad bowl. And I said, you know what? That looks just about the right size for a banjo pot. And in fact, the uh, chamfer, the way that it is chamfered all the way around the rim is just like a banjo rim. So I said, hey, let's give that a try. I've, I've been wanting to try a hide banjo, a claw hammer type hide banjo. And I thought that looks like the thing to do. So the bowl itself was like this. Gives you a better idea. So I sawed that in half and used the upper half for my rim. The uh, lower half may still get used someday. Right now I put keys in it or something, but it could actually be a smaller uh, travel banjo or something itself. It's uh, set up for it too. So I cut the bowl in half and then I uh, went and cut a neck for it with a stick. This is actually ambrosia maple here. You can see, kind of see the details in the ambrosia. And then I added some uh, leopard wood wings up here for the headstock, to widen out the headstock. Uh, it has a uh, tiger wood overlay for the headstock. And I also put planetary tuners in there. I don't know if you can see it, but I uh, got my um, logo in pearl up there. I also did some inlay on the rosewood fretboard here. Uh, the head was taken from a Dejimbi head that I, I got a deal on over at Guitar Center. So I, I removed the flesh hoop from the Dejimbi head, soaked it, and uh, then used that to stretch over my bamboo bowl here. Now the uh, unusual method for stretching the head, uh, what I did was I took and made up a loop out of nylon zip ties. Put all the way around here, put the uh, painted the glue around the rim of my pot here, then stretch the head over the pot, quickly put the zip ties around it and tighten them up most of the way, and continued stretching the head. Then I tightened those down, put another layer of zip ties on, kept pulling and checking to make sure the hide was all tight, and then I ended up with about five layers of zip ties on there to make sure that it wouldn't move while it was gluing. And as you can see, it did a pretty good job with it. It's, uh, it's, it's nice and flat all the way around the rim, and, and it held tight. So no problems during gluing. And as you can hear, got a nice, uh, nice tight uh, stretch to it. So uh, everything shrank up fine. Then I added this little nifty little brass uh, claw hammer looking tailpiece. I figured five fingers, five strings. So. There's that. That's a little temporary bridge I made out of leopard wood. I'm going to make a nice one for you. Yet. Well, there you have it. That's pretty much the details. You can, you can see the mahogany back on it. And uh, this is what the thing sounds like. Uh, uh, see if I can play anything. So uh, anyway, that's pretty much it. I hope you like it.